Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here today for a news update for the JP side of Dokkan Battle. We got a little bit of news for the global side as well, um, but we're, most of this is going to be for the JP side. As you see over here, shout out to the Reddit for all the information. This is where I'm getting all my information from. Uh, before I start, I did want to say I did have some summoning videos meant for you guys to go up today and tomorrow. Unfortunately, I jumped the gun and I permanently deleted them before I uploaded them. I thought I had uploaded them. Then I deleted them from my computer to free up some space, and yeah, I do not have them available for you guys, so I'm really sorry about that. It wasn't anything special. It was, well, one of them was Dragon Ball Legend summons. I had saved uh, three multi-summons for you guys, and that was for the full, the, the final form Frieza. And uh, because I don't have them available, I tried to recover them using Recover You, um, or Recover, you know, the uh, program, and I used uh, a couple other programs to try and recover them, but unfortunately I was not able to do that. So uh, I got the full power of the final form Frieza, so I am happy about that. And I got another dupe of Paikuan, so um, that happened. But uh, yeah, I don't have those videos for you, so I apologize about that. But I am doing more Dragon Ball Saga summons on Dokkan Battle. Uh, on the Dragon Ball Saga summons, I ended up pulling a Kami. That was like the only hyped pull. Everything else was like SRs. Uh, I think the only SSRs that I have was like the uh, the Kid Goku. I got another STR Kid Goku and an, S and an Agility Great Ape Goku. But well, that's about it. <clears throat> we are over here for the JP side with JP News information. The Tanabata campaign, 22 events information. Uh, login bonus campaign, go ahead, login today, July 1st. Happy July, everybody. Um, Tanab Dokkan missions, part one, part two. Part two is going to start on July 12th. Uh, Dokkan festival, Super Saiyan 4 full power, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is going to be starting soon. Um, Tanabata Dokkan fest, the Super Dragonstone sale, uh, Super... Full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku Dokkan events here. Parunga Dragon Ball missions or wishes are back. Missions are listed on a different post. I have that coming up next. Exchange each wish strip treasure item for a character out of a pool of 77. We're going to be talking about that in this video as well. New GT story event for SSRs can be obtained. Return of GT Black Star Dragon Ball Saga story event. Fourth Dokkan Battlefield 2.0. All Dokkan events are available during this campaign period. And holy crap, that's a lot. Return of the GT Baby Saga event, the GT Baby Saga finale event, you get a 10 time Elder Kai SSR summon gotcha, Extreme Dokkan Festival, Extreme as in EZA, Ar Majin Buu R category gotcha, Ultimate Gohan Extreme Z battle, new stage added to Super Battle Road, will be open every day during the campaign period. That's interesting, I'll probably do something separate on that. Return of the Rebrand event, Return of the Great Saiyan Man event, and three times experience in quest mode. So this is all gonna be happening um, some of it's going to be starting today, some of it's going to be starting on the 7th of July, some of it's going to be starting on the 12th, and some of it's going to be starting on the 9th. So uh, we have a whole bunch of new information, a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be happening, and I will be releasing this information as it comes out. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for all that. Uh, now in terms of the Parunga missions, it looks like over here, uh, Treasure Shop Exchange Mission, Use Item. So it pretty much means go to the Baba Exchange and, you, and get an item from there. Quest and Z Battle Clear Mission, so do a quest and do a... A Z, I guess Z level or higher. So like do Z hard or higher. I think you need to clear that and you should get one. Um, it looks like others need to be like available. I don't know. Um, clear, qu uh, quest clear mission, get Zenny. Um, so I guess you have to do a, Z a, Zen a Zenny type mission, maybe Hercule special challenge. Card awakening mission, so awaken a card. Battle start mission, use, uh, use I guess uh, uh, your uh, actual stamina. Uh, 77 stamina you need to do. I guess you need to get seven. On so in terms of the Zenny. You need to accumulate over 77,777 Zenny. Uh, card potential release mission, count mission. I don't know what that means. Potential release. Maybe that means unlocking a dupe path. Or maybe it just means using a potential orb. Uh, client side mission. I don't know what the heck that one actually is. Uh, client side mission. Uh, maybe it means a story event mode. Something like that. Interpretation disclaimer. These might be interpreted, uh, misinterpreted by me. So use one wish strip in the Baba shop. Clear stage two of the new GT story event. Interesting. Um, obtain, yep, the, 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 this amount is any. Dokkan Wake in a card. Use 77 stamina. Unlock a node and potential system. Click on the banner that will appear this day on the home screen. Alright, so I had, like, some of them, right? <laughs> uh, that's gonna be available. That's available now. Go ahead and do that if you need to. Um, if, if anything, I'll do a walkthrough with you guys. I'll probably, at some point, either tomorrow. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I don't know what it is, so I'm either gonna do it tomorrow or, um, if not tomorrow, I'll definitely do it on Monday. Um, looks like Zahal was right. This is the Perunga stuff. This is what it looks like over here. So that's pretty awesome. Um, potential orbs is really what I would really want myself personally. But um, some of you guys you may want more. It looks like you can get an additional two. We're going to be getting an additional two from there. So the total of seven. 
Um, in terms of the pool selection, we do have the whole pool selection. Burungo missions uh, are available. The strip of Wish and Mission events now live. Um, so, Orihime mission set one, clearing any... Oh, okay. Uh, clearing any stage with the unit Warrior Woman Link gives one strip of Wish. Exchanging three items in Baba Shop for friend point. Clearing one, five, ten, fifteen, and twenty story events gives five stones plus other goodies. Spend twenty-five, uh, two hundred and fifty, and five hundred stamina gives goodies. Completing seven of the Orihime missions gives seven stones. Now I'm thinking like Bleach, uh, Bleach when I think when I say Orihime. Uh, Hikaria, Hikaria. If I'm uh, if I'm butchering that, I apologize. Clear one, five, ten Dokken Fest stages gives various medals and training locations. Ra raising any unit super tech to five and ten awards three Elder Kai SRs. Dokken Awakening 1 and 2 units gives various rewards. Consuming 1,000, 1 1.5 stamina gives 1 Wish Strip, 1 Elder Kai SSR. Completing 7 of the Hikara missions gives 7 stone. And Milky Way mission set 1. Clear any 5 uh, stage or clear any five stage or stage 5 times with only super attacks gives 1 Elder Kai SR. Clear any uh, uh, stage 5 times in less than 2 minutes gives 1 Elder Kai SR. Uh, clear any stage 10 times without taking damage, receive 5 stones. Open up 2 or 4 potential routes, gives 3 hourglass medals total. So that's probably going to be coming really handy when you're like doing your um, free-to-play SSRs. Releasing 200 and 300 potential nodes gives orbs, unsure of total. Um, I don't know how many actual orbs you actually have to unlock. Uh, spending 2,000 and 2.5 stamina, 2.5k stamina, gives 1 wish strip, 1 of each type of Funky Kai. And clearing seven of the Milky Way missions gives seven stones. Very, very interesting. Um, so we have a whole bunch of cool stuff there. Um, new login information. Well, this is the new login bonuses that are going on. Ten stones and the two uh, things that are going on right now. So make sure you log in. Well, I think it looks like you only get one right now. As soon as you log in, you get this one special item for the exchange for the seven SSRs. Um, and on the seventh, you get another one. Um, due to feedback, the new STR GT Goku now has Fierce Battle. So that's this little sucker right over here. Uh, he is now getting Fierce Battle instead of Shattering the Limit, so that's going to be pretty awesome, so at least he has that. Typically, you know, story event and stuff doesn't really get that, but I guess they decide to change that. This is the 77 options. Now, there are a lot to choose from here. Let's go look at that. I mean, this is your agility, this is your technique, this is uh, intelligence, strength, and physical. Um, I mean, honestly, you're probably going to want to pick at least one from each category. There's a nice composed list over here. Intel intelligence, Turlis, Stunner is good. Um, Great Ape, Turles, I guess, I wouldn't really get Great Ape, Turles. Uh, Intelligence, Turles, yes. Tech, Bardock, yes. Intelligence, Metacora, yes. Physical, Bardock, Sealer, yes. Physical, Gotenks, yes, definitely. 100% recommend this guy's your, one of your number ones. Uh, physical Pan is a great support unit. Physical Sin, Shenron, if you have Omega Shenron or a 120 Korra team, very, very good. Agility or, or the STR, um, Super Saiyan God, Goku, the STR one, 100% would tell you to get him. Agility or Intelligence Mize, because they're really good stunners for Super Battle Road. Physical Super Saiyan Goku, who is a decent stunner. Yes, that is true. The STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the damage reduction one, and the Agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything. The, this Bardock over here is actually pretty decent as well, um, so I would recommend going for him too, because he's attack plus 100%. Um, when HP is 30% or higher, I believe it is. Uh, this Trunks over here is really good as well, so you can go for him. Uh, Majin Vegeta, if you guys are lacking in AoE, even at this point in the game, if you're lacking in AoE, this Majin Vegeta is an AoE. Uh, I think that's, like, let's see over here, who else? Um, this Goku over here is an Orb Changer, so he'd be pretty good. If you, if you have an LR Gohan, and you don't have an Orb Changer for that team, he would be a good choice. Uh, this Baby over here is a good choice, he's attack plus 100%. Um, this Bardock Doku awakens into a good support unit, so he's pretty decent as well. Uh, we already talked about the Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, that's Rage Goku. Super Saiyan 3 Goku over here is a really good support unit for any type of team, actually. Super Saiyan 3, he's a really good support unit. Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, he's a really good support unit. Uh, Pure Saiyans, he's a good support unit, so that's really good. Um, actually, this, this, these three right here, all three of these are really good, uh, for the strength ones, anyway. Um, this is the, the, the Super Saiyan Goku we were talking about for the, for the stunner. Um, and Seal Tanks, this is the number one card I would highly recommend you choosing, unless you already have him. So yeah, that's pretty much all of them. Um, then the next, this is for Global. So we're done with the JP stuff now. We're moving over Global. We now have the third anniversary, anniversary countdown quiz campaign. How many Zenny do you get for selling a Hercule statue diamond? Answer is 5 million. So let's go over here. I'm just going to show you really quick. Go over here and click on the wow for 5 million. If you go over here and you click to, you just check and you see like, 
all of, like the five, uh, the fifteen thousand people who did this right, and then like you have like some trolls over here. So, <laughs> um, and last but not least, uh, the STA campaign confirmed event period six twenty nine Friday, which already happened to seven six. Um, third anniversary stam consumption campaign coming soon. The more stamina consumed, the more rewards you get. Don't miss out. I think that's cumulative, not just individual person. But we'll have to wait for and see, and I will definitely do a video on that. But anyway, guys, that's all the news for today. Thank you for joining me here today. Apologize about those videos. I was not, I'm not going to be able to get out to you. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about the new campaign for the JP side. I know I did see a couple posts about how they're kind of like screwing over Global because Global has a third year, and now they have all this cool stuff happening on JP. But whatever, I'm not really that upset about it. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you all later.